What are your general thoughts on a decision at, uh, you know, kick for the post or kick for the corner and Razzie holds up the light time? What, what are we making of this? I like it. <laughs> I think it's great. I surprise, think it's, surprise. it's, I mean, it's not, it's not AI, it's not blockchain, but it is innovative. No, it, it's Razzie Erasmus being Razzie Erasmus. And he does different stuff and he gets a lot of attention for it. Sometimes he does that if he wants to disguise another narrative somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And um, it's another, it's, it's one of, the, I, I, I think more generally, rugby needs characters, story, innovation. Mm. And it's a, it's a subtle version of one of these. And it's, it's given us something to talk about. Because it's often a talking point after a game, should they have taken the points or kicked for the corner? And I think the received wisdom, and we have a you know, captain here who's made those decisions countless times, the received wisdom is you make the decision on the pitch, you have a sense of how the forwards are going, how the kicker's kicking and the coaches don't make that decision. I've always thought that a touch strange. I would have thought players maybe want the coach to say, here's our input. Maybe you've room to disagree, mm. but here's our input. I think it's process versus feel. I think it eliminates any um, questions afterwards, which mm. is a good thing. But then, you know, if, if someone's not going well off the tee, then that's a separate question. But um, I think feel sometimes on, on the pitch is as good as the direction of it. So it's an interesting tact. But again, um, don't they say genius and eccentricity goes hand in hand? <laughs> um, we've seen plenty of that. Yeah, I would like to see your face as Gatland holds up and flashing orange light. Well, I, I, I did comment. I wasn't sure if he was landing planes at one point, but uh, <laughs> obviously not. Yeah. What do you think about it, Rob? Um, I, I can see both arguments. I, th I think as a captain, I've never captained uh, my country before, but I think having that decision taken away from you uh, could be one less stress on mm. the day. Mm. Um, so th th there's a huge amount of, of merit to it. Yeah, uh, I, 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 I just that, think yeah. it's unusual that everyone is mic'd up. All the coaches are mic'd up. You've got water carriers, physios, doctors uh, on the touch lines who are mic'd up as well. Mm you could get a message that way as opposed to the traffic cone. Yeah, well, see, I think that's the certain theatrical flourish yes. that mm. Razzie brings, yeah, which Andrew Trimble is, is here for all yeah. day. Because I wonder, Alan Wynn, um, to Rob's point, that it takes the pressure off the captain of touch, you must have been on the pitch on certain occasions, made the decision either way, say kick for the corner, it backfires, and you're thinking, oh, I'm going to get pelters about that one and it might play in your mind whereas at least if coach has taken it out of your hands you don't have to sweat that maybe yeah i think hindsight's a wonderful thing you know uh, and that's 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 why I sometimes relieve and feel i completely understand and, and agree if it's one thing taken away then fine mm. and we don't know they, they might have had a plan beforehand that you just focus on you doing you and you know we'll give you all the assistance because there were another couple of lights on the desk as well what they were for we, we don't know <laughs> but um uh, yeah, I can understand both sides of the argument. Yeah, well, we'll crack the lighting system code before the Ireland game, I think, is the um, plan. You just want Andy Farrell and team to turn up with their own lights now just to mess with heads.